Yo! What's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the update to report URL filters and how you can use a measure as a hyperlink in your Power BI report. Stay tuned. So, report URL filters were recently updated. And you guys know I've been talking about dynamic links, dynamic reports ever since I joined Guy in the Cube. And so if you guys want, if you haven't watched the videos on report URL filters, Adam did one a while ago, I did one. You should go check out both of those videos to kind of get up to speed on what we're gonna talk about today. Then come back and watch this video, all right? They made some updates to report URL filters, but there was also an update to where you could categorize a measure as a web URL. So now I can use that measure as a hyperlink on my report, right? Instead of doing it on each individual row in a table for that row context, now I can do it at the context of my that page in my report. It's pretty neat, and I'm gonna walk through all those things right now today in this video. So instead of doing all this talking, you guys know what I like to do, let's head over to my laptop. Okay, check out this desktop file. All right, in this desktop file, I've created a few measures. You can see right here at the bottom. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So Adam's gonna put this PBIX file somewhere for you guys to download it. So if you wanna get this um, and check it out, look in the comments below. And also, here's my little asterisk. This code is not production ready, right? My DAX code is just for a demonstration. So don't send me a, a whole bunch of messages and comments. Oh, Patrick, you do this to the DAX, do this to the DAX. I know, I know, they could be better. Just doing this for demo. Okay, back to my desktop. Okay, so the first thing I wanna point out about the update to URL filters is that they had lots of new operators, not just equal. You can do greater than, less than, greater than, equal to. I love it. All right, first update. Next update. You can pass more than strings. You can pass integers and dates. Phenomenal. I like it. Okay. Um, so check this out. The first example, what I've done is I've scraped the web page and I pulled in the operator. So I'm going to go ahead and choose equal. If I select equal in my report, you can see there's a hyperlink there. Let me show you just a little bit of DAX, just a tiny bit of DAX that I wrote for this particular one. And so the first thing you want to do before you start setting up these URL filters is you need the URL to the report that you're going to link to. And so post that report into a workspace, not in your my workspace, because you want these persistent URLs. All right. So I got that URL for that report. Then I begin to set up my query string. You can see question mark right there. Then filter equals. Then the syntax is the table forward slash column name, then the operator, then the value you want to pass. Pretty Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. In this case, I'm using selected value to pass the selected value of the district. If I don't select the district, just choose the minimum district that's in my list, all right? So check it out. As I select different districts, you can see how the URL will switch up from one to four. And then if I choose like 11 or 10, my URL will switch to 11 to 10. If I publish this out to powerbi.com and do the exact same thing, right? So equals, you can see that it's one if I choose 11 or district nine, you know, the, uh, let's choose district nine. That's better. I like district nine, All right? We choose district nine and you can see right there that it has, you know, district, district ID equals nine. If I click it, it'll open up a new page and a, a new tab in my browser. And you can see this report is filtered down to nine, so check it out, right? So it's only gonna show one district manager, that's my district, and then I could see in my filter pane that it's only district nine, which is great, right? How did you make that link? How did you make that thing a URL? Well, that's the other update, not really a report URL update, just a Power BI desktop update, but check it out. So if I go back to the desktop, I have one of my values here, like my URL, which is a measure, which is denoted by this little calculator next to it, what you can do is click on modeling and now I can categorize those measures as such. So that's what I've done for my URL. I just categorize it as a web URL, which makes it a hyperlink. If you don't want to so show, <laughs> if you don't want to so, if you don't want to show the entire uh, URL in just like a little visual hyperlink, you can choose that element. As long as it's a table, expand, expand values and change it to a URL icon, right? For this demo, for this for this video, I'm gonna leave it as a URL because I want you to see as I change things and select different options. Another thing that they released um, was the in, in option. So let's say I have multiple, multiple 
districts that I want to pass in my my query string. And so basically what I can do is before I had to go and 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 you you would have to wrap them in strings and make sure they're text and everything. But now because I can pass integers, all I need to do is produce a comma delimited list of what I'm trying to filter by. And so now you can see that's wrapped in parentheses. And so now you can see the number 10. And if I choose two and I choose three, so my, my URL is just building out based on the options that I have selected. And if you take a peek at my, my DAX here for my lists, my URL lists, you can see I'm just using the selected value. So the way the syntax is table name, column name, then the in operator, then I'm using concatenated X to build the comma delimited list. So now I can pass it. If I head over to the web browser and do the exact same thing, if I choose in instead of equal to, and then choose multiple districts, you'll see that now I have my list of all my districts here, one, four, nine, and eight, 11. And if I click it, we'll open up a new tab, and then you'll see the list. If you go to the filter section of the report, once the report renders, what you'll see is, see you see my list right there, one, four, nine, 11. If I expand this out and you can see district in 14911. What, what, what? So excited, this is great. Um, I've been waiting for this for a bit. I've been knowing this was coming. Adam and I have been talking about this, but now it's here. All right, two more things. Two more things I wanna show you. Um, you can also pass dates. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear this filter right here and take a peek at this. It's clear. And let's choose less than or equal to. If I choose less than or equal to, and you can see, right? So now I'm passing, I'm saying greater than or equal to this date, less than or equal to that date. And that's based on my, my range slicer right here. Now, the one thing I need to point out here is that the date needs to be in a specific format, right? All this stuff is based on old, did, old, blah, 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 old data syntax. And so your date needs to be, at least in my locale, right? In the United States. And then that's where I've tested it. it needs to be year, month, day. In your locale, you need to test um, and see which one works, but follow a very similar format. I know in other countries, they don't put month and day, they put day and month. So go ahead and give it a test. Let me know what you find out. Post it in the comments below, okay? Um, and so what I've done here, I built the same thing. If we head over to my report in the service, if we choose less than or equal to, we're gonna clear out this filter. And you can see, right, my date is from February to May. If I click that link, just wanna click the link so you can see what happens to the filter, right? In the filter section. If we expand out filters, you'll see on or before and I mean on or after and on or before. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. This is so exciting. I can think of all the different things I can do with this. The final thing is that remember when they initially released this, you couldn't have any special special <laughs> special characters in your table or column names. Like a like a simple space, which is something I do all the time when I'm designing my semantic models is I'll say, you know, first full name or I mean first um, or district manager or something like that where I have district space manager and you couldn't pass that you had to get rid of that space well now you can any that anything that's a non ASCII character right you can include it um, just by using the Unicode uh, the four digit Unicode. And so the way it works is you should pre prefix it with an underscore, suffix it with an underscore. Before you put in the Unicode value, you put an X right before it and then you supply the Unicode value. If the Unicode value just happens to be less than four characters, you need to pad it with additional zeros to make it four characters. So take a look at this syntax. So let me go over to the desktop just so you can see what, what the actual DAX looks like for this. So we'll go down here and URL pass, and you can see same thing, but in the 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 um, filter, I have district forward slash district underscore, right? Then I have my X, then I have my uh, Unicode um, for space, and then I have another underscore. So you set it up th that way um, in the actual DAX expression that you're trying to make your URL, that you want to specify as your URL. And then once you do that, if we head out to powerbi.com, I'm gonna go ahead and use not equal to, because that's the one for it. And you can see how it's building it out, district, underscore, district, blah, 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 right? And I'll choose one of my districts because I'm gonna say not equals to, which is another new operator. So not equals to Valerie. Um, and so when I click this URL, everyone should show up in my district manager list, except for 
Valerie. All right, so check it out. All right, so Valerie's not there. If we open up the filters, you can see district manager is not Valerie. What? Remember, if you are passing the screen, you need string, you need to uh, wrap it into two single quotes, one at the end and one at the beginning. What? This is crazy. This is awesome. A little longer video this time, but I'm really excited about these features. I hope I just demystified any questions um, that you guys had about report URL filters. If you do have questions, comments, criticisms, whatever, post them in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, what do you got to do? Subscribe. Um, and if you like my video, a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and Patrick, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.